together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A blue bird. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A blue butterfly. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a blue shoe. That's right! What's this one? That's a blue dragon. Rawr! Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a blue bird, a blue butterfly, a blue shoe, and a blue dragon. What do they all have in common? They're all blue. That's right. Today, I'm only painting blue things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make blue our special color of the day. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue squares and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is blue. It is, but that's a circle. We only want blue squares. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue square. Thank you, monkey. Now let's gather all of the red squares. Okay. Here. Here. Here's one. Here. Oh, and 
in here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow squares now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. And here. Great. And what's left? Two circles. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie. We've sorted all the shapes. Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use the two circles to make a mask. Look! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. I knew those circles would come in handy. <laughs> Which octopus is blue? There it is! Blue octopus. Which pants are blue? There it is! Blue pants. Which bird is blue? There it is! Blue bird. Which balloon is blue? There it is. Blue balloon. Very good. I'm crunching leaves, but only blue leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it. <laughs> Yay! See you. It's story time. Get around, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Hippo Wants to Dance. In this story, Hippo wants to dance. Will any of the other animals dance with her? Let's find out. Let's begin. Hippo Wants to Dance. Written by Marisa Stein and Sam Beck Bessinger. Illustrated by Megan Andrews. Hippo wants to dance. She jumps up and down on the dusty ground. Thump, thump. You're getting dirt on me, says Snake sleeping in the sand. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She rolls into the river and splashes her arms and legs. Splish, splash. You're making me wet, says Kingfisher, hunting for her breakfast. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She twirls around and around in a field, kicking her legs up high. Swoosh! Swoosh! Be careful! You nearly kicked me, says Meerkat, bathing his babies. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She flops into a puddle of mud and slides around on her nice big belly. Squish! Squash! Why don't you stop dancing, asks Donkey, carrying his buckets. Why can't you do something helpful instead? Hippo is sad. She is too sad to dance. She sits on a rock and cries. The tears roll down her cheeks 
and fall on the ground. Plop, plop. Grasshopper hears Hippo's tears. He starts dancing around her feet. Hop, hop. Hippo and Grasshopper start to dance. The other animals come to look. And they all dance together. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! Today's song is about a dog called Bingo. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me, okay? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh, B I. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name Oh, Now, you'll all sing along with me, but this time we'll replace the first letter of Bingo's name with a hand clap. I don't understand. That's okay. Just follow along. Everybody sing. There, there was, was a farmer, farmer had a dog, dog, and Bingo was his name O. I N G O. I-N-G-O I-N-G-O And Bingo was his name Oh, That was fun! Good! Now replace the first two letters with hand claps. Everybody sing! There was a farmer had a dog And Bingo was his name Oh, N-G-O 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 And Bingo was his name Oh, Now, three hand claps. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. G O G O G O and Bingo was his name O. Splendid. Let's do four hand claps. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. Oh, and Bingo was his name, oh. Last verse. Everybody sing and clap. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. And Bingo was his name, oh. You did it! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Map. Mm, mm, map. Maracas. Mm, mm, maracas. letter do all these words start with? M! That's right! The letter M! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely! Let's practice making the letter M. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I know! Let's trace letters with a glue stick! Well, that sounds like a great idea. Fox, why don't you go first? Okay! M! 
great! I'll try it! <laughs> M ah. Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll trace the next one. Hmm. M. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? M! Exactly! Uppercase M. And what's this letter? M! That's right! Lowercase M. Nice job! Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose! M! <laughs> <gasps> Look what I see! A butterfly! Let's watch it flutter! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb, little lamb Mary had a little lamb Its fleece was white as snow And everywhere that Mary went Mary went, Mary went Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Oh. No.